Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. With me today is Govan Manon, here to talk about the Center for Materials and Manufacturing Sciences, their new facility coming up here shortly. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. And uh, here, we, we've had you here before talking a little bit about what this center's all about, but yeah. uh, bring you back because we're prompted by the creation of your new home. Uh, the MacArthur Hall has just been torn down and you're gonna have a new facility that's gonna take its place. Uh, first off, how are you? Ex how excited are you about the fact that you're getting this new facility? So we're very excited, we're ready to move. So we have been retrofitting labs. We have more instruments uh, than, than we have space for. So we absolutely look forward to modern, very specific labs and a building full of labs. Full of labs. Yeah. Now, before we get into the building, yeah. let's give folks a background who don't know what the center is all about. Kind of give us an idea of what this center is about and, and what it's going to mean for the university. The center itself is called the Center for Materials and Manufacturing Sciences, but we primarily focus on plastics, particularly recycling of plastics. Um, so when, when you talk about recycling of plastics, there are many moving parts to this. So you, there, there is an aspect of chemical recycling, there is mechanical recycling, there is processing. So there are various different kinds of labs. So, and all of these labs will have a different purpose, will have a different look, will have different requirements in terms of venting, uh, noise cancellation, air conditioning, and soundproofing, and so on and so forth. And so you're, this brand new building, and we're gonna get a look at it here. We got some artist renderings that we have a chance so we can see what it is. And we've got them up there right now, and you can see what this building is gonna look like. And, and just your impressions, and tell us about what we're seeing here, what, what, what we're gonna see in this building. So. So, so to the right immediately, you'll see a maker space uh, where we'll actually process new uh, plastics. Uh, it's a beautiful building and, and it's, a sh it's a new effort for Troy University. It's like nothing else we've done before. It's completely a whole building dedicated to research. And research, and that's one of the main things. This is a changes kind of a, a, a new direction for the university because it's so research based and there's a lot of elements in here that that is i guess breaking new ground for the university when it comes to research and academics here we absolutely are uh, for the first time uh, for example we have a lab technician whose full-time job is simply to maintain and calibrate instruments so in in the past Faculty members have done it as part of their duties or release time and whatnot, but this is a dedicated position just to maintain equipment. In addition, for the first time, I believe, for, uh, for Troy University, we're getting postdoctoral candidates. So about four of them to begin with, nine to five, all they do, uh, including summer, is come here and do research. No teaching, just research. Just research, so all of that research going on that breaking new ground, new things here. But once again, this facility, this brand new facility being made just for that. And you mentioned there, you talked about labs. Let's talk about like some of the things you're gonna see, that, that these labs and some of these spaces that are going to be so integral to how this, pro, how this how center is gonna work. So one of the uh, equipment we have is uh, uh, atomic force microscopy. So the level of resolution is just unparalleled. So we can see layers of uh, molecules. Uh, we have um, NMR, a nuclear uh, magnetic resonance uh, machine. So again, it takes fantastic uh, images. Um, it takes tens of thousands of dollars just to power the equipment up. So anytime we have to power down, there's a cost involved in powering <laughs> it up. So these are very expensive uh, machines to maintain. And here's another question. So what is the, I know there's a lot of research in this. What is the, the level of student interaction with what's going to be going on in the facility. And here we do exactly what Troy does all along. We invite students from day one. So they will be involved in every aspect of what we do. Uh, they can take courses, research courses for credit. If they don't need credit, they can just still continue to work with us. So we go out of the way. We, in fact, have funding for this as well but we go out of the way to include students at every step. And of course, this is something that's only going to progress in the field, that the business, that getting out there, if students are involved in this and learning it from here, plastics are gonna be around and what we're gonna do with plastics is going to be something that's going to make them eligible for, for work for probably many years to come. Oh yes, oh yes, so th they'll be very highly employable. This, this will be a flagship, um, 
opportunity for, uh, I mean, flagship institution for mm -hmm. the university. And now, uh, what are we looking at uh, timeline? Uh, when, are, when, when do you think you're going to move in? Because I know you're itching to move in, but I know it doesn't just go up overnight. So we're hoping late 22, if possible, or early 23. 2023. So, so a chance for that to, to get in. I know you're you're eager to get across the quad there. Well, no, and get I, I think over it's there, very so. likely. I think people have been wor working. Uh, so this is an effort by a large group of people, mm -hmm. starting from Dr. Hawkins, uh, General Gavan's team has been very instrumental. So we we work on a regular basis. We we fight hard. We lobby with the right group of people. So it, it's a joint effort. So w when we do things collaboratively, uh, there's there's only room for success. And I know uh, until then, I know you're probably walking by the, the hole that once was MacArthur and just thinking about where your new office is going to be. I am glad to see the hole <laughs> and the fence around it. So I know something else is going to uh, come up there. Dr. Hawkins is not going to allow a hole to exist in the middle of the campus for too long. All right. Well, uh, Govin, thanks for stopping by and giving us this update on the center and uh, cannot wait to see the new facility uh, there right there on the main quad here at the Troy University. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. Anna. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.